everyone. One of the most important questions that I get asked every semester is how do I outline? It seems to be a common fear and misconception for a lot of students and it causes them anxiety when really the anxiety should come from actually getting up in front of an audience and giving the speech. So today I'm going to break it down in a simple format that I hope everyone is able to understand. Of course there may be some confusion, so please always contact me through on-course messages if you have questions. So, I have set up my board much like an outline will appear. Please remember that your outlines must be in full sentences, and the outline I have in front of me is more of a speaking outline. It's bullet points to help refresh my memory on what I'm going to talk about. When you turn in your outline, it must be in full sentences. So first, you're always going to begin with an introduction, and your introduction can often be the most important part of your speech and should be practiced most often because you're most nervous during this period of time. So, you begin your introduction with an attention material. And attention material can range from anything from a narrative, which is a story, everyone loves to hear a story, or a statistic, a quote, or something interesting that you can really use to engage your audience. For this, an outlining presentation might not be all that interesting, but I could have began with a statistic that said one out of every five students that takes speech online has anxiety dealing with outlining. And maybe that could be you, that one out of five people, and so it really engages you and interests you to listen to me. That statistic was made up, by the way. Now, the second element is relevance. And when we say relevance, what that means is why is it relevant for your audience to want to listen to you today? And my relevance is your speech students. I am here to help you succeed in any way that I can, so my relevance is trying to engage you because you all will need to write an outline during this course. The third element is credibility. And credibility in the simplest form is saying why are you credible? Why should I listen to you when you're speaking about this topic? So, in this situation, I'm credible because I've aside for 13 speech classes, I'm very familiar with the course text, and I have a personal relationship with the instructor and have gone over and over and over the outlining process again and again. So your credibility for your speech is going to be, I have completed thorough research. Maybe you don't have a PhD, maybe you don't have a degree yet, of course, because you're in this class, but you have done the research necessary to understand this concept. So that is how you will present it in your speech. The next element is your thesis. And the whole point of developing a thesis is to get across what is the main idea of this speech? What is the main message that you would like to give your audience? My thesis is outlining is very important and it will help you be successful in speech 121. It's as simple as that. Give the basis of your presentation. The last element, which I've also starred, is your preview. During the preview of your speech, you want to say, today I'm going to express or tell you about this, this, and this, A, B, and C. For me, today I was going to tell you about introductions, body, and conclusions, and so on and so forth. So, that is the simplest form of an introduction. And all elements must be included in your speech outline to receive full credit. The next thing that I'd like to draw your attention to is the body. And I don't know if you just noticed the statement that I just made, but that was actually a transition. I was going from one point to the next, and in your speeches you will do just that. And you will actually have a little spot in between each intro, body, and conclusion that transitions, and you will just make a simple statement. I have just spoken to you about introductions, and now I'd like to talk to you about the body of your speech. That is a simple transition. So now that I've transitioned into the body of the speech, this is the element that you most often want to start writing. Because how can you write your introduction if you don't yet know what your body is going to be about? So the body of your speech is simply the main points, the research that you have done that you would like to use to support these main points. So it is easily broken down here. Um, your A will be your main point one, B would be main point two, and so on. You'll also see that I have labeled one and two, and it says support. This is your support material. This is your research. And here you will provide 
in-text citations as well as oral citations when you're giving your speech. So you will state, according to Erica Lamar, which is me, speech is often a hard subject for students because they have speaking anxiety. I have noticed that with my career as a, um, a speech aid, and I hope that I can give you a few points, and so on and so forth. I think that was a little blurred, but I do have um, other resources that can kind of show you that. I didn't have one exactly prepared in that moment. So, now that I've shown you the essence of an introduction and a body, I also want to show you the conclusion. So I'm going to flip this around, and hopefully it's still in your view of the camera. And the next point is conclusions or our conclusions. Conclusion is what you want to do to summarize and wrap up everything that you've talked about today and or whenever you present your speech. So you're, you're going to summarize today I've spoken to you about these three points and also you can restate your thesis so that you can really drive home that main point that you wanted to get across. Finally, you will leave them with some form of memorable closure. That can be a statistic or um, a special element that you want to leave with them that you, in your research that you found just very um, informative or persuasive if it's that, the, that form of a speech. So I'd also like to draw your attention to the reference list which will be at the end of your speech uh, outline because that is very important and is often something that students do not include. And there are just a few points that I have here and this is not in an outline format but I just want you to know that it must be double spaced it is to be in APA format, as well as in alphabetical order, and hanging indentations. So if you have any questions about APA, I always direct students to Owl Purdue, and I'm sure a lot of you have visited their site, because um, sometimes you don't have access to the newest edition of the APA manual, and that is perfectly fine. They have up-to-date resources that are very helpful for students. So overall, I hope that this has given you a basic idea of what your outline is going to look at, look like. So I really want to draw your attention to the fact that it is full sentences. So it's going to be written much like a research paper, just in this broken down format of how I've labeled it Roman numeral 3, A, B, and so on for each part. So please pay close attention to the notation and the formatting that you're using. Again, if you have any questions, please definitely contact me through on course messages. I also hope to probably post a short quiz that you might be able to get extra credit over if you um, watch this video and respond to those questions. And don't forget that you can always get four points extra credit if you send me your outline for review. And I'm going to throw in a little uh, thing that I hope is an incentive is that every student that has ever sent me their outline has received 100%. So um, definitely it's to your advantage and that it will definitely help improve your grade um, and probably help you overcome some of your speaking anxiety because you will be much more prepared. So if you have any questions, again, just contact me.